Hello. Well, here we are in 2020. I know last week uh, was my first uh, episode for this series in 2020, but that was made in 2019. I wanted to just get my thoughts out on the film I had seen last week. Uncut Gems. Um, and this week I just kind of want to talk about the Golden Globes. I didn't really, you know, I didn't watch it, but uh, I saw the winners and I saw Ricky Gervais's uh, monologue and stuff he had said. Um, it's quite funny, you know, calling a lot of the, the people in that room uh, out <laughs> for many things from, you know, Harvey Weinstein thing from the uh, just calling out people here and there regarding like just the hypocrisy as uh, many people often seem to associate with uh, many of these celebrities um, uh, and it's, uh, it's very interesting uh, to see how you know even some later people uh, who win kind of took digs at sort of at uh, the people in that room uh, uh, but Ricky Gervais uh, he, he won't do he won't host the Golden Globes anymore after this year he's done he says he's just you know no even says how He uh, he's, he doesn't care anymore, and he was kidding. He never cared, and and you know, and he's just he's he's very he's quite funny, um, regardless on uh, what one's uh, if one agrees agrees with him on you know various things from political issues or whatever, uh, whether you. Can you agree with him or not on stuff like that? He is quite, he is very funny. Um, uh, especially for something like this, you know, he's very observant and he also made fun of the woke culture. How uh, many of these people, they're woke, or they say they're woke, and yet uh, the companies that they work for, or, you know, like the making films or TV shows or whatever, like you know, like Amazon or Apple or Disney, whatever. They, you know, they have like sweatshops somewhere in China and be able to make products or, you know, from there, be able to, they're associated with uh, corporations that are known to have uh, manual labor that they often seem to condemn, like, you know, sweatshops are bad, and yet they work f for companies that do this, you know, obviously, you know, it's like, you know, it sort of a, seems to be a situation of do as I say, not as I do, and, um, yeah, it's, it was in, it was quite interesting, and quite humorous, too, um, to say the least. This film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, won Best Picture for a Comedy, um, won Best Supporting Actor for uh, Brad Pitt, and Tarantino took home Screenplay. I had a feeling he was always going to take home Screenplay, uh, and of all the films I had seen, I had a feeling Brad Pitt was going to win Supporting Actor, because they had Joe Pesci and, um, you know, Al Pacino up for supporting act for the Irishman kind of felt like you know it's going to be one of those situations they're going to cancel each other out so that's unfortunate for that that film but I'm happy Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won the awards it received uh, Leonardo DiCaprio lost to Rocket Man uh, Taron Edgerton 
man, he was inc- he was very good in that film, very incredible. Ellen John won for a song. Um, let's see here, what song was that again? I'm Gonna Love Me Again. Yes, that's the song. Um, Joker won original score. Um, and uh, Joaquin Phoenix won Best Actor. Um, you know, he was quite thankful and quite nervous. You know, he's not very into these award shows, honestly. Um, he's He's sort of made that clear in the past, but he won, so he accepted. He was quite nervous. And he even said, like, you know, with like things like uh, the Australian fires that are going on at this moment, you know, he's like, you know, it's great for everybody to say, you know, uh, hope for the best and all that. You know, some people will say uh, thoughts and prayers and, you know, it's all good and all. Um, but, you know, they're in a position where they could do more, and he thinks that they should do more, you know, uh, for situations like that. And, um, like, you know, you don't need to, like, go and uh, uh, go on a private jet and uh, fly to some island somewhere for, like, a vacation or whatever. And then he was actually sort of, after that, he was sort of, like, played off the stage for say, after saying that. And some thought that was just plain rude and very odd. It's like, wow. It's like he's calling out people in that room who will take private, you know, private jets. And yet they'll say stuff about, you know, like climate change or whatever. And regardless of what, where you stand on that whole thing, I'm not going to get into that. Because, uh, you know, that's a political issue, and uh, I'm not going to get into that. I don't want to make that the big thing here, but it's interesting how, you know, some of those people in that room who uh, they were able to be on that platform, they might have said something of the sort of, like, climate change, and yet sort of a do as I say, not as I do. Like, they'll go on private jets and fly somewhere for vacation or uh, somewhere on a private jet to a filming location or whatever and then go and say something about climate change and uh, yeah, seems like he was even sort of pointing out uh, some hypocrisy there and um, yeah quite interesting um, <clears throat> Renee Zellweger won for Judy, playing Judy Garland uh Aquafina for the film Farewell. I have not seen this for that's motion picture comedy musical. Renee Zellweger won for drama. Uh, supporting actress went to Laura Dern for a Marriage Story. I have not seen that film. Um, nor have I seen 1917, which won the Best Picture Drama, um, uh, at which also won Best Director. Um, you know, I've heard quite a lot of things from, for certain, some of these films, you know, haven't heard much about Missing Link. Um, I mean, I, I remember he- hearing of it and seeing it promoted, but I don't know, like after it came out, it just seemed to sort of like, there you go, that was, that was it, you know, Frozen 2 and, uh, Toy Story 4 and Lion King I heard quite a bit about. How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, Hidden World also. Um, Parasite won foreign film. I've not seen that film either. Um, some of these movies I don't hear about until like these awards are nominated. Um, which could be... Some say that's sad that I've never heard of oh, this movie or that movie. Then again, you have to realize that, uh, uh, you know, living in the Midwest, uh, you know, living in Iowa, we don't always get these movies, and if we do, it's usually around this time of year, like either just before or after award season. So, 
and it's interesting how these films get nominated for a bunch of awards, and then people start talking about them. I'm like, I've never heard of them until all this. Um, but yeah, um, The Irishman didn't win anything from what I could see. Yeah, there's no screenplay, you know, acting, director, picture. Yeah, it didn't win anything. A bit surprised, honestly. I would have thought it would have won something. I, 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 it was my favorite for director and picture, honestly. Um, I've not seen 1917, as I've said earlier. I've heard it's a good film. Um, I could go through television fairly quickly. Um, Succession, never seen that show. Never seen Fleabag either. Those were the best drama and comedy. Uh, Brian Cox won Best Actor for Succession. Love it, Coleman for The Crown. These are drama, and then comedy or musical. Actor was Remy Youssef for Remy. Uh, Phoebe Weller of Bridge for Fleabag. Uh, performance in a miniseries or television film. Uh, Russell Crowe won for um, The Loudest Voice. And Michelle Williams won for Fosse Burton. I saw Fosse Burton. I really liked it. I thought it was very good. Um... So I was hope I was happy. I was glad to hear Michelle Williams won. Um, I was a bit disappointed that Sam Rockwell really hasn't gotten any sort of awards love. He didn't win the Emmy uh, for Bob, playing Bob Fosse, and he didn't win the Golden Globe. Um, but you know I haven't seen the shows that he lost to, so perhaps Russell Crowe did give a better performance. Uh, it is possible. I'm not going to say he didn't. Uh, uh, supporting actor in a series, miniseries, television film. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård won for Chernobyl. I have not seen that also. I've heard of that as a, yeah, quite a big film. Um, or miniseries. Yeah, it's a miniseries. Yeah. And Patricia Arquette won for the act. So, yeah. And uh, Chernobyl won uh, Best Miniseries or Film, Television Film. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's, those are the winners. Um, I was happy with Joaquin Phoenix won. Uh, for me, it was rather either him or Christian Bale. Uh, you know, I thought he did a great job in Ford vs. Ferrari. Um, for me, it was either of those two. Um, uh, and also, you know, it's like, you know, because Robert Pattinson wasn't nominated for actor in a drama for The Lighthouse, nor was uh, um, Willem Dafoe nominated for The Lighthouse either. Um, you know, I was a bit disappointed that film got uh, snubbed uh, at the Golden Globes. Um, regardless if, of if Robert Pattinson had an actual chance to win against Joaquin Phoenix, I don't know. Uh, I can't say for sure. Um, uh, but, I, but I think he was really good. Um, Lighthouse, I've already said, is my favorite film of the year. Uh, part of me thinks Robert Pattinson deserves an Academy Award, or at least a nomination for The Lighthouse. Um, though, um, Willem Dafoe is nominated for the Critics' Choice Award, so, you know, there is that uh, for The Lighthouse for Supporting Actor, so perhaps he could win. Um, uh, Brad Pitt, I believe, is nominated for that same award. Um, uh, and, you know, he does have a Golden Globe for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Um, so on one hand, that could possibly give him the edge <clears throat> over Defoe, but perhaps the critics will say, like, you know, he, Defoe deserves it. He deserves the award. Um, then there's the Independent Spirit Award, which um, uh, both, uh, you know, Pattinson and Defoe are nominated for lead actor and supporting actor. So hope for the best of luck for them. Um, <clears throat> at that award 
ceremony. Uh, and, uh, and Adam Sandler is nominated also for Uncut Gems for his performance. Um, you know, for, for very great performance by him. And I think both him and like Sandler and Pattinson were deserving of nominations. Um, but then it's like if I was going to include those two, like which two would I get rid of for uh, nomin for nominations? Again, I haven't seen Pain and Glory. I haven't seen Marriage Stories. I haven't seen Two Popes. Um, but, you know, maybe one of them could take the spot of any of those three. Uh, for me, I don't know. Um, again, I haven't seen these three films. Um, so, until I do, you know, I can just uh, think, you know, it's a shame, you know, Pattinson get get up, uh, have a nomination like Joaquin Phoenix or Christian Bale did or Antonio Banderas, uh, Adam Driver, Jonathan Price, uh, same with Sandler. For supporting actor, I don't know who I would eliminate. You know, I don't think Brad Pitt deserves to not be nominated. Uh, Tom Hanks, from what I've heard, was the lead. Of it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and uh, as was Anthony Hopkins for the two popes. It's one of those things where they're both like those two are the leads of their films, and yet I guess in terms of awards, we want to make we want to try and have this person get nominated and potentially win. And if they're up for supporting, you know, then they can have a better shot at winning. Uh, sort of similar to uh, Viola Davis in Fences. Um, if you have ever seen that film, I mean, it's a, it's a good film. Um, but she was clearly the lead. But because she was put in supporting actress category, uh, you know, and she had more screen time than the other, uh, excuse me, and the other actresses nominated with her, you know, in a way that's, I, I'm pretty sure that gave her the edge and she won her Academy Award and Golden Globe and all the awards she won that year. Seems to be a sort of similar situation, but well, that didn't work out for like Tom Hanks or Anthony Hopkins here. Uh, Anthony Hopkins wasn't at the ceremony, nor was Joe Pesci. Um, uh, yeah. So anyway, um, that's the Golden Globes, the winners. That's my thoughts um, on the winners and who I would have liked to have seen nominated. Um, yeah, it was just a, it was a very interesting from what I've heard. People in the industry is in a way getting called out for uh, certain hypo uh, like hypocrisies people uh, I've seen online point out. Uh, but, but people in the industry don't really do that. In the entertainment industry, it's all hush hush. Like, you know, the whole Harvey Weinstein thing until it's discovered. People have accused being perverts and this and that. And, it was, a, it was quite interesting to hear uh, Ricky Gervais say all that. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, what do you think? Do you, uh, uh, did, you, did you watch the Golden Globes, or did you just not watch it but see who was winning and for what? Um, if you weren't familiar with said film or TV show. Um, yeah. That's really all I have to say. Hope you all have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time.